The See, I may look stupid, sound stupid, and in general stupid, but I know some things. Cow. Yo guys, um, we're at two, of course. What? Okay, of course, my guy, smart genius, me retarded. All right, we're watching. What if we nuke the moon? All right, um, there'll be an explosion. Damn, fam, you got the whole chat laughing. Honestly, I, I would click off if I was you, but if you're still here, I love you. Oh! Let's get into the video. I, I need to stop. Alright, let's just see what happens if we explode the moon. Or probably a nuclear bomb in the moon. I don't know. What would happen if we were to detonate a very, very powerful nuclear weapon on the would moon? Would the moon move? Would the explosion no. knock its orbit towards Earth? I don't think so. Tidal waves and the moon's a little, it's a little big. Would the moon be destroyed, showering the Earth in a rain of meteoric death? That's kind of evil, but okay. Cause we're a little intro. What's hello? Is the volume okay? During the Cold War, the moon was a major target for space exploration and, you know, military bases. So yes, of the course. US Air Force commissioned a serious study into the effects of a nuclear detonation on the surface of the moon. But just quoting stuff is boring, so let's mm. conduct a it's very boring. important scientific experiment with an imaginary 100 megaton thermonuclear warhead about twice as powerful as the most powerful bomb ever detonated. Okay. We'll also place a number it, of... It'll, it'll be like a big like temple maybe? That's about it. I'm not seeing a lot of movement. Let's push the button and slow down time. For the okay. first few minutes, Start seconds, time casually. nothing much happens outside our weapon. Meanwhile, inside, high explosives send a shockwave to a radioactive metal core, compressing mm -hmm. it so much that it reaches criticality and starts a nuclear fission chain reaction. Okay. The 100 million degree plasma created in this first stage sets off the second stage with atomic nuclei fusing like they do in the core of a star. Very briefly, our weapon contains one of the hottest places in the universe. And only now, barely 10 milliseconds later, does the rest of the universe find out that anything has happened as suddenly the bomb dissolves and a flaming star of nuclear death is born. God damn. So far, so good. But everything that happens now is very different from what we're used to on Earth because of one major difference. There's damn, no sir. atmosphere. Yes. I, the see, I may look stupid, sound stupid, and in general stupid, but... I know some things. Cow. It is a planet. Rays and thermal photons, a wave of silent heat which rushes outwards in all directions. Okay. On Earth, this heat would char and burn everything within a 50 kilometer radius at least. Okay, moon, that's not good. Without an atmosphere and oxygen-rich air, there's no burning at all. Also, I mean, there are no things to burn. The crunchy topsoil of the moon is made from silicate rock and metals chewed to dust by eons of meteorite impacts mixed with tiny traces of water. When okay. heated by the explosion, x-rays from the fireball vaporize a thin cloud of rock from the lunar surface, while the unlucky dust that's inside the fireball melts into glass. Any astronauts watching the show within about 50 kilometers can expect to be fried. Well then, I thought we, we would survive maybe, no we won't. ...differences between explosions in space and on Earth. On Earth, the atmosphere fights back against the plasma bubble. Hmm. Its expansion is violently stopped within moments by the pressure of the atmosphere. But Pick up the atmosphere, stop in the explosion. As the fireball rams the atmosphere, it produces the most destructive part of a nuclear explosion on Earth, the shock wave. Compressed oh, air around okay. the explosion rushes out That's faster it, than the bro. speed of sound, shattering buildings and roaring so loud it ruptures organs. But on the moon, ruptures there is organs. no shockwave. Bro, uh, no atmosphere means shock is so sick. Oh, actually, I want to explain shock. Not like my new explosion, of course, but when I feel like shock, moon, it feels the like. The fireball just grows in eerie silence as there's no atmosphere to stop it or to give it a voice. This would be an amazing thing to watch from a safe distance. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's hardly any safe viewing distance for a nuclear explosion on the moon. Without well the atmosphere weakening the deadly ionizing radiation that can scramble DNA, anyone close okay, enough to get mutation. a good look will be exposed to fatal amounts of radiation. But of oh course, my. that's not all. Because, so we can't watch this explosion at all. The explosion hammers against the moon, transferring about a tenth of the explosion energy into seismic waves, powering an intense moonquake. The moon is much okay, smaller than I mean, Earth, and yeah, our yeah. astronauts will feel an inescapable violent shaking no matter where they're standing. Comparable to, to an the entire thing on the Richter scale, this shaking could seriously damage or even level infrastructure we might have built anywhere on the moon. 
Okay. Those who I mean, the far side of the expect that from a little no earthquake. A little earthquake. Big earthquake. Would feel like an asteroid the size Wait, it's, of a, the great it's not the moon. It's a moonquake, right? And right. it's not over yet. With, when there's more. Explodes, the ground splatters like water when a rock strikes a pond. As the explosion pushes against the surface, it may excavate as much as a hundred million cubic meters of dust and rock, forming a crater eight kilometer across, while bedrock is pulverized to rubble. Debris is shot into the sky in every direction. Again, without an atmosphere, there's no drag to slow any of it down. So it just escapes. Much of the debris scattered never returns to the moon, flying off faster than escape velocity. Oh, yeah. A flurry of micrometeorites have been cast off to explore the solar system, many of earth? which will rain down on the Earth, though few will be larger than pebbles. Oh, Any pff, I thought it might be a big threat. Pebbles! Space station in the way Slightworks. Though, will have a really bad time. <sighs> micrometeorites are launched at many speeds and angles, allowing them to spread all over the surface of the Moon. Like bullets, they'll punch you might want to move. curious astronauts no matter where they stand. You might want to move. Finally, mo our explosion. I told you want to move, and this man's standing like, oh, kill. Rises like a hot air balloon, forming a sort of stalk. As it reaches up, cooler air is drawn in around it, rounding the top into a mushroom cloud. Okay, that's but on normal. The moon, that's well, you know by now, no atmosphere, atmosphere. Yep. no mushroom. The larger the plasma gets, the cooler it becomes, and the less energy it has to make interesting or terrifying things happen. Okay. Within seconds of pulling the trigger, the bubble reddens and fades from view. It would be visible from the Earth like a star flickering to life, only to fade out right away. A spark, and then. Did I miss it? Yeah, I think As you did. You were sleeping. Tiny debris reaches far above the surface of the moon. It's illuminated by the sun for a few minutes, giving it an eerie beauty for anyone left to observe the spectacle. Rip in the chat. What this. about the moon's orbit? Yeah, would it would switch. Imagine, does it change? Trying to move the moon with a nuke is like trying to move a truck by blowing on it. Okay, good. Nuclear explosions may it. be big, but space is bigger. Mm. Our mighty explosion just leaves another crater, one among millions. Still, anyone on the moon one among will millions. continue to not enjoy themselves. The material that ends up raining back to the moon is radioactive, and without any natural processes to wash it away or bury it, the surface of the moon will remain contaminated. Although, mm. fortunately, the worst of the radiation will have decayed to a level comparable to natural levels from cosmic rays in about a year. I mean, that's in not that bad. Conclusion, we can say with confidence that this is a move. I mean, if it moves, then we kind of be fucked because then we'll ocean will be Using the moon as a nuclear test ground kind of ruins it for everyone trying to spend some time there or to build something useful. Because so you're just chilling at the moon. just not do that. I mean, this was our last video of the year 12,020 and uh, oh dear what an interesting and weird year it's been in all the worst ways but it's finally over this is an ad thing right um yo guys uh, that is the end of the video I mean did you expect it to move alright the moon is small but not that small right it's at least I would say I, I remember uh, we were watching some like death battle thing. It takes like I think it was like ten octillion tons of force to burn a hole through the m middle of it. So I don't think a measly hundred megatons could do anything. But it was an explosion, so I was right. I was right. I wasn't wrong. Alright. But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I, I, I'm super tired. I just came back from school. But peace.